Rocky Mountain Sasquatch. I would like to show you some screenshots from a window peeking Bigfoot that was captured on video somewhere near Bailey, Colorado and go over the details with you of what happened to the video and why only screenshots of the event have been circulating publicly since 2017. When I first came across these, I was a little skeptical and decided to put them on our blog spot at rmsobigfoot.blogspot.com for our following to view and share. Usually if there is a reasonable explanation of something we post, it never takes long for someone to provide a link or video that may explain what is going on. Since 2017, nobody has been able to provide anything credible to dispute what the witness has already provided publicly. Here are the details from the witness. According to the witness, the window was at least eight feet off the ground. Scott Y shares details on social media. The video was on a computer that burned up in a house fire. So me, my wife, and I bought 11 acres of land in Bailey, Colorado. We built a foundation of cinder block that is three feet, six inches above the ground. The land is mostly hard packed dirt and large rot. After we moved a modular home on the foundation, there we lived off and on for two years while we got it ready for permanent residency. In August of 2017, we were finishing the interior of the back of the house and I came into the living room and caught a whiff of a very harsh odor in the room. It smelled like rotting animal flesh, vomit, and excrement. I caught a glimpse of something moving outside the window from the corner of my eye. We have had bears visit pretty regularly, but they tried to get under the house, not in it. But when I seen this figure by the window, I thought a bear had somehow climbed up to the window. I take a lot of wildlife pictures because they literally come up to the outside of it, like mule deer, elk, bear, haven't seen any mountain lion, another small game. I have a few feral cats all over my property and they aren't mine, but they hang out a lot. Anyway, I saw the top of the head and that caught my attention. It moved closer and I seen its eyes and were freaking huge. And it scared me because bear eyes aren't that large or far apart. I always have a camera handy to get a good shot of the elk that come extremely close to the house. When I realized it wasn't a bear, fear struck me hardcore. I used a cheap Kodak sport digital camera for taking pics, and for the most part, it makes fast action pictures and video. It was on the end of the table next to my recliner, approximately six feet from the window. When I pointed it at the window, it stopped and swayed and closed its eyes as if it was a child. You can't see me if my eyes are closed. So shaking and trying to video at the same time, I moved back a step and it slowly moved from one side of the window to the other. It was seriously about a 10 minute video, but it was on a one by one half inch card, which had to be downloaded on my computer. It didn't make any attempt to enter the house or run away. About eight minutes in, my wife came into the room and asked me what I was doing. I told her there's something outside and it ain't no bear. When she looked over my shoulder, she screamed, what is that thing? And ran back into the bedroom. I stopped the video, went to the closet and grabbed my 40 cal off the closet shelf. When I turned back around, it was moving away from the window. I wasn't going to shoot at it if it tried to get in, which it didn't do. I went to my wife who was freaking out and tried to answer her bombardment of questions. And after reassuring her that everything was okay, she called the sheriff's department and they sent three deputies to check out the property. Their conclusion was most like a bear or other wildlife until I showed them the playback. When they reviewed it, two of the three were impressed, and the third was like, it's a bear. Anyway, the rest of the night was uneventful and peaceful, other than my panicked wife. She ended up having my daughter and my daughter's husband come get her and take her to Golden, Colorado for a couple of days. I downloaded this video on my computer at my mother's house because she has internet access and I didn't. Long story short, my mother's house burnt down shortly after that event. We've seen it at a distance every now and then in the darkness by the firelight. Not the body, but the eye shine. And that's pretty creepy too. But haven't had any incidents of a destructive nature, so I decided to just be cautious when walking the property. I do carry my 40 
always outside, just in case, but haven't had to pull it from my holster. I see signs where he's broke branches on trees that I can't reach on a six-foot ladder, and occasionally, he'll move things around. Most signs we see were always after we left and come back home. There's the story behind the photos. I hope people can find something in here to benefit them if they are dealing with one too. RMSO opinion. Amazing screenshots. At least the witness still has evidence of his and his wife's terrifying encounter. FYI about Bailey, Colorado. Our team has done several Bigfoot investigations in and around the beautiful Rocky Mountain forests of Bailey because of the substantial history of Bigfoot sighting reports. We continue to get reports from and around that area still to this day. Colorado is the number one reported Bigfoot sighting location in the Rocky Mountains. I would like to address the most common comment we have received regarding these amazing screenshots since we put out our blog post. Some say, look at the bat strap on the forehead. It's as if this guy's wearing a ball cap and he has it on backwards. After evaluating this comment, we have concluded that this is a shadow caused by the partially lifted window blinds, placing a shadow on the creature's forehead from the overhead light in the room. When the creature moves its head around, sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not, indicating it's a shadow, it's not a turned around ball cap. Amazing set of screenshots from a Bigfoot sighting hotspot. Bailey, Colorado. Keep on watching. We're going to keep on squatching.